Oh, uh, am I supposed to be doing a review? Oh, Zookeeper. No wonder I was asleep. So yeah, guys, I'm reviewing Zookeeper right now, and the WTF hat's already on, so you already know what that means, but this movie was boring. Extremely, extremely boring. It's so boring, in fact, that there really isn't a whole lot of material I can work with in regards to this review. If I were to review this movie the, regu the regular way that I would, y you would probably fall asleep. So in other words, for me to make this review worth something that you would want to watch, I need to have some sort of a gimmick, some sort of a thing to keep your attention. Um... Here's my attempt at a bum review. And now it's time for Transient Reviews with William T. Hoagie Roll. Tonight's review... Zookeeper. Oh my gosh, this is the greatest movie I've ever seen in my life! I am a zookeeper, and I take care of spoilers! There's this zookeeper named Griffin, which is actually kind of funny because he's fat like the other Griffin that everybody knows. So he's actually riding on horseback with his girlfriend because he's gonna propose to her! But the girlfriend doesn't really take it too well. Will you marry me? Oh no, 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 no. Why not? Because you are a zookeeper and I have a problem with that. Let me guess, this is where most of the conflict from the movie is gonna come from, isn't it? Yeah, you wanna be with yeah, me, yeah. but I have a problem with that. So five years later, Griffin is still working at the zoo, and at one point he has to take a can out of a choking lion! I pulled a can out of a lion's throat once! I think it was high. So just as Griffin's life is starting to turn around and everything like that, the girlfriend shows up again! Hi, remember me? You proposed to me and everything like that? Uh, 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 uh something about porcupines? Uh, 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 uh. So needless to say, Griffin's skills with the ladies really aren't that good. But the girlfriend says is that if Griffin goes out and gets a job over at a car dealership, she'll be his girlfriend again! For no adequately explained reason, but okay. But Griffin doesn't want to leave the zoo because he actually is really good with the animals, including a silverback gorilla! But Griffin still wants his old girlfriend back, so what ends up happening? All of the animals begin to start talking! Hooray! I think. So right as the zoo's about to close, all the animals come around and start talking to Griffin! And the lion is like... You wanna talk? Okay, let's talk. And then Griffin is like... <laughs> that pretty quickly. So then the animals start talking to him and giving him all this great advice about how to get the girlfriend back. Pee on a bush, it'll release your pheromones. Puff out your chest and go like this. <laughs> Throw poop at her. Do the gorilla mating dance. <laughs> okay, so Griffin does what every normal human being would do after being given information like that. He blindly does what every animal says for him to do, including peeing on an artificial bush in the middle of a public restaurant. I peed on an artificial bush in a restaurant once, and I was promptly thrown out from the premises. But the only real good advice from anybody seems to be coming from the female lion, and the female lion is like, show up with another girl, it'll make her jealous. So Griffin goes to his brother's wedding reception, where he knows that his former girlfriend's gonna be with a woman that he's been working with. And sure enough, the ex-girlfriend starts to get jealous. Oh man, I am getting so jealous. So I am attracted to him again. Hooray! But after Griffin makes all these changes to make his girlfriend happy, he realizes he's not happy with himself! So then all the animals get together and are like, You shouldn't have bothered with that woman. You should have gone with the woman that you've been working with all this time, and you should have just been yourself. So what you're basically telling me is that everything that I did in this movie, all the advice that you gave me, I shouldn't have listened to at all, and I shouldn't have done anything that I did in the movie. Yeah, pretty much. So Griffin stays a zookeeper, he falls in love with the other scientist that he's been working with for a while now, and they all live happily ever after. The end! And in the theater, I'm like... <laughs> yep, that about sums it up. This is William T. Holy Roll saying... CHANGE! YOU GOT CHANGE! Oh, come on, help a guy out, William! Come on, CHANGE! Come on, I'll give you good advice about how to hook up with a girlfriend! I'll tell you not to pee in an artificial bush in a restaurant, I'll tell you to pee in a real bush at a restaurant! Yeah, to sum up, guys, probably this review is actually more entertaining than the whole movie. 1.5 out of 5.